With their own deadline set, providers are waiting and seeing and hope for expansion of federal vaccine mandate. And CDC data reveals that COVID vaccine efficacy waning among nursing home residents in wake of the Delta. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, August 25th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $25, a promotion that is running until mid-September. You can enroll quickly on our website at NACACNA.org. Join today and stand up for what you deserve. The COVID-19 vaccination policies and deadlines implemented by several of the country's largest post-acute care operators will remain intact after President Joe Biden announced a vaccination requirement for nursing home employees last week. Evangelical Lutheran Good Samaritan Society, the largest nonprofit multi-site senior care organization in the 2020 LZ200 listings, was one of skilled nursing's first large vaccine mandators. Good Sam announced this requirement for all staff to begin vaccinations by November 1st in late July. At the time, President and CEO Randy Burry said that adding the workplace safety measure might help with recruitment. He believes requiring vaccines can attract already vaccinated job candidates and help retain staff who worry about developing breakthrough cases or carrying the virus home to their families. But he said Thursday that the Biden administration's policy undercuts that benefit, and he is concerned some staff might migrate to other sectors without an expansion of the federal mandate. For now, the organization's November 1st deadline remains in place, as do requirements for two doses if staff choose the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines. Recent news on needed booster shots, though, could also lead Good Sam to reevaluate that part of its COVID-19 vaccine employment conditions. For now, Burry said he is in wait and see mode, with few employees having resigned and few filing applications since Good Sam made its condition of employment announcement. Vaccination deadlines will also remain in place for Genesis Healthcare, the nation's largest nursing home chain, and Pruitt Health, the 11th largest, after both announced mandates for employees earlier this month. It was not immediately clear last Wednesday how regulators expect to audit or enforce the newly announced vaccine mandate. CMS said in a statement that its guidance would be coming in September when new rules are expected to go into full effect. The need for COVID booster shots among nursing home residents may now be apparent after a federal study found that vaccine effectiveness declined significantly among the group after the Delta variant started circulating. A new report released by the CDC found two doses of mRNA vaccines offered by Pfizer and Moderna were 74.7% effective against infection among residents during the early months of the federal vaccination program between March and May. From June to July, however, federal researchers observed a significant decline in effectiveness to 53.1%, a drop concurrent with the rising dominance of the Delta variant in the U.S. during the summer months. The more transmissible variant prompted federal health officials last week to approve and prioritize long-term care residents for the COVID-19 booster shots once distribu distribution begins. The need for COVID-19 booster shots has been questioned by several experts who have said solid data is needed in order to move forward with prescribing extra shots for the group. The CDC came under fire with the publication of three vaccine efficacy studies in its weekly report last Wednesday, with critics inside and outside of government saying officials should have shared more data in real time and collaborated better with other agencies. The Delta variant may not be the only cause of the uptick in nursing home risk. Investigators in that study added that waning vaccine-induced immunity could also be a factor. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week. And I'll see you on Wednesday.